a guy that comes in here, still wet behind the ears, thinks that he got this, the, the, the knowledge of a man that's been in this thing for years, a veteran. That's why it says what it says in the scriptures about a, 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 being a novice. Matter of fact, give me that. That's why you got guys for, and what did I say in the beginning of the year? I said a lot of you guys are going to fall off, and some of you guys are going to get kicked out. Okay, go ahead. Uh, this is 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 6. Not a novice, least being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. And we, and we, and we see that. We witness that. Read that again. It says, not a novice. A novice is a young guy, a, 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 new, a new guy in this thing. You know, they, they, like I said, they become masters of memorizing scriptures, and they know how to bring it out. And they look like, you know, you, you see, if you don't know the guy, you think the guy been in there for uh, 25 years, 30 years. I shalom, right. I shalom, right. I shalom, right. Come on, son. Come on, son. You don't, you don't know nothing, man. You haven't experienced it, man. Go ahead. That's why you on that journey by yourself. Go ahead. Not a novice, least being lifted. Up. Satan got you. All right, Satan, Satan, Satan got you. All right, Satan, Satan got, grabbed you up, and he got, and Satan got you, man. He got a whole bunch of, he scooped up a whole lot of guys. Go ahead. Not a novice, least being lifted up with pride, he fall into the... And that, that's not there just to be there, just to fill up the page. That's there for a reason. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm... I can't. I think I'm higher than that guy. I think I'm more deep. I know the scriptures. Look, I know more scriptures than you. That, that's when that pride, that's when Satan got in there, man. That's when Satan's devices got in there. It's through the mind. Don't let the spiritual demon Satan get into your head. Because he's going he gonna to mess you up. You can't deal with Satan, man. Welcome to the elders, apostles, and brothers in the truth. Um, I just started back watching videos um, every day. Maybe for about three, four weeks now. And I noticed that... Um, of the Tahart had deemed this the year of death, destruction, and diligence. And it made my heart sunk because my husband was, and his brother, his identical twin brother, was preaching um, from 2007 to 2010 or 11. And um, it was something that happened with the camp with the brother Manatazak, forgive me brother if I uh, mess up your name, um, and he now uh, does his videos and preaching on uh, Bible Teachers SC, so I really don't know what all happened, but I do know um, after that situation that he stopped uh, um, preaching, um, period, like he, he just stopped, and ever since then we've been catching him. Um, he's still my husband, but we no longer live together because things went from bad to worse. So, um, on December 21st, him and his brother um, were hit by 18-wheeler, and that left my husband in ICU with a broken back, broken collarbone. Um, he's on a ventilator, collapsed, rib, collapsed lungs, um, broken ribs. Um, and a lot of internal damage, like basically when the 18 wheeler struck on the side where my husband was sitting, one of the ribs cracked and broken into his body and the pieces of the ribs stab all his internal organs. So like his kidneys is messed up, his liver, they had to take out his um, most of his pancreas and his entire spleen and he's still doing surgeries. Um, so 
you know, I took that as a sign from the Most High that he's not playing, um, among other signs, because we got other signs too. But I took that as a sign that the Most High is not playing. Like, how about you? I wish I is not playing. Like, they are not playing. So, you know, I was like, we got to get right because it's about to pop off. We got to get back right. And um, so I was in there praying and fasting and doing the things I need to do, you know, leaning on videos from y'all trying to, you know, get, you know, get back, you know, right for the sake of, you know, my family because we have four kids. And um, I'm in there praying and things are slowly progressing. And, um, you know, he's asking me to, you know, pray with him using the name and I'm doing that. And uh the his mom and them they really don't like me because they feel like him being in the truth was my fault which really had nothing to do with me it's just that i allow him to do it so she basically don't respect me she kind of feels like the only reason why he was in the truth is because me like that doesn't make sense because he got in it after the fact so but anyways um the entire family feels that way so the this was last Saturday I was in there and I was showing him videos um, um, by Elder uh, Gabar and well, Apostle Gabar um, Salakia and um, Apostle um, Tahar just showing him different videos um, and I was about done and so you know I was praying and he was you know he was jerking a little bit so I found that strange like why are you jerking from me like you weren't jerking from me before um, but my back is facing the door, so I don't know who's walking in. But, you know, I'm using the name and everything. And when I looked up, his mom was right there. So, um, you know, I don't speak to her because she's a witch. And I mean that literally. Um, and, you know, we don't have no communication. So I left and, uh, from that day on, I was calling because he's um, in the hospital in Columbia, and I live all the way in Sumter, so it's a, it's a good bit, you know, and it's hard to get back and forth up there. So I was calling and calling, and every day is, you know, they're telling me, you know, it's a slow progress up. And so when I called Wednesday, I couldn't get in contact with him, and I finally got to speak to a nurse because he's still on the one-on-one, and the nurse it said, that he's now able to speak he's not he's still on a ventilator but they got it to where he can speak and he requested that um i no longer know anything and that they not tell me anything and i no longer come up there so i was like i know it's coerced but at the same time like you know better like the most high is not playing if this is not a sign i don't know what is like if this is not you laying up there, you're not even able to eat. They can't even give him a feeding tube yet because his stomach can't tolerate it. Tomorrow will make a month that you've been in the ICU with all these broken bones, broken back and all, and all these back-to-back -back surgeries, and you seriously think it's a game. So I don't know. You know, I do want y'all to pray uh, for him, but at the same time, I really don't know. I just really don't understand it right now. Like, what is going on? Like, how can you not get this? So, I just wanted to let y'all know that when when the GMS prophets get up there and they say something, they're not pulling it out their ass. They dead serious. Like, they dead serious. And y'all need to realize, like, this is not a game. Like, it's like, it's been overdue time to get right, but it's time to cut it out. Like, stop playing. Stop playing. Like, go put an application in the Legoland or something. Like, stop playing. Because at the end of the day, I wouldn't wish what my husband is going through on Esau. And you know these Edomites don't mean that's worth anything. Like, they really, really do hate us. I'm looking at some neighbors now that like trying to lean in and hear what I got to say. They ain't outside picking up nothing. Ain't nothing in the yard. They just sitting up there being nosy. Seriously. Seriously, like.
I just felt like I just needed to let y'all know, you know, if you see me comment on your videos or thumb it up or anything, you know, I'm just leaning on the word and leaning on y'all just, you know, trying to make sure that, you know, me and my kids stay edified and, you know, hopefully pray him through um, this or whatever the most highs will, you know, the strength, the faith, you know, through whatever's to come because it's about to get popping. Seriously, it's about to get popping. It's been popping, but it's about to get way worse. Shalom. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Enough respect to you brothers all over the earth teaching the truth. Today's lesson is going to be entitled, Judgment on Former Member, on Former GMS Member, Tazamah. Now from that opening credit, the opening clip you saw, a young lady here put up a video. <clears throat> and originally I caught wind of it last night. This brother from uh, Georgia put it up, you know. He reposted her video. The title of it is Ock Watch Down with GMS says Prophecies the Elders Push are no joke. And it comes from this channel here, Lioness SC. And it's titled GMS Prophecies Are No Joke. And this sister here is the the wife of former member from down in the Carolinas, um, former member of GMS Tazama. At one time me and that brother talked together, and I'm the I'm the brother from South Carolina she was speaking about in it too you know and I put up clips of um you know pictures of Tazama and of me you know teaching together and you know I just want to say to that sister you know if you happen to see this video I'm not making this video in an attempt to say anything negative about you you know to say anything negative about your children and really not even to say anything negative about um your husband other than the fact you know just want to bring out what actually transpired I'm not going to really go all deep into it <clears throat> Um, on this page here, one of my other pages, which is titled uh, The Narrator SC for South Carolina SC. On this page, uh, The Narrator SC, I actually did videos on it chronicling what happened, you know, with the, the old camp down there. Uh, part one of it is Exercising Past Demons. Part two of it was Hedra, a carnal demon, this one guy particularly. But I was going into it on these videos what transpired with the old camp, what led to the split. What led the brothers leaving GMS getting kicked out, you know, pretty thorough in that. So that'll really give you the full background for you younger brothers out there that, that don't know about the history. You know, this is uh, the guy in question that got judged, you know, that went through this uh, accident. And you heard her talking about it, you know, if you saw the clip. And this is us back then, uh, some years ago, probably like 2012, 2011. And, you know, there was a big split, as you know, you might know, you might not know. But I will make sure to reference uh, to put these two videos in the um, in the description. Now on to the current. So really, in brief and short, what wound up happening? Me and Tazama, we you know it was a big split. You know, we went our separate ways, and soon after that, Tazama and this uh, guy Sarge they started speaking against the elders, against the brotherhood. You know, basically, it was talking bad about the elders. And then soon after all the wickedness, you know, because Tazma, he did a lot of wickedness, you know, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not here. This video is not the purpose of it to bash him, to say, you know, nothing, nothing about him because I, you know, like I said, on those two videos, I brought out thoroughly what happened. So if you, you know, interested in knowing that, you can watch those videos. But the main thing that Tazma did is he, you know, he lied on me. You know, he said a lot of negative things about me, about uh, Brother Tazawamu, you know, who currently is, you know, doing what he's doing i'm sure you brothers know about that <clears throat> which uh you know i'm making this video for the other brothers and many guys that over the years that fell out of gms that left talk shit about the elders that's the new trend now but this one guy particular tazamar you know he waxed 
wax rebellious against the elders. He started teaching against, you know, um, a lot of false doctrine was coming out, you know, and basically he took his hand off the plow after that. So that's really the main thing we want to get into is, is him falling out of the truth. And now, and now that's the new thing. Guys fall out of the truth. They turn against the elders. And then shortly after that, they stop teaching, you know. And over the years, every year, it seems like it increases more and more. You know, you had the situation last year with them three guys from Los Angeles with the Flat Earth Doctrine, MAC-10, and them, them other two guys. You currently had this situation with them guys in Houston leaving Hawaii Allah and the, the two guys that left with him. You know, every major camp. You had what happened in Chicago with Batak and, and uh, the Barbarian Horde. You know, what happened in the, with the Indiana brothers, that one head guy leaving, even myself. I got kicked out, but you... You brothers out there that's, that's still in the truth, you have to remember that the Most High set up men for a reason to teach, and you, we got elders over us. And when you guys fall out of the truth, or you leave, or you get separated from the congregation, you got to keep teaching the word. You know, this ain't something that you know you've been given the authority to do just when you come in GMS. No, if you happen to leave, you got to keep teaching. And one thing you should never do is bite the hand that feeds you, because the Most High set up the elders. The apostles a great millstone for a reason and you hear this sister here on this video saying that so this video is going to not only serve as giving information of what happened it's also going to be a warning a stiff warning to you guys that fell out over the years you had the situation with the, the former head of the Dallas camp he's now waxing in rebellion you know you guys got to watch out man when you, you fall out of the truth you know Satan might have you know the most high may allow Satan to get you out of the way for a minute but that don't mean that it's all over for you you know but these guys now that's doing this wickedness, this whole thing with the Avengers and, 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 and the guys that fell out, you know, behind that. And, and just different over the three guys in Miami over the years. There have been numerous men that fell out of the truth. The whole truth of that camp. And we expect to be making more videos about these guys when they fall out. And afterwards when the most high you had the Seattle snake, he got judged, okay? But I'm sorry for ranting. I just want to get, you know, go into a lesson quick here. Bring out some scriptures and that's going to be the end. I don't want to make a big long video out of this. You know, I'm just trying to, you know, bring forth, you know, <clears throat> a little bit of scriptures with this. Now, right here, we're going to read Romans 16 and 17. Now, I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them. That's an order from the Most High. When guys fall out of the truth, when guys start teaching false doctrine, you're supposed to, you know, mark them. And you're going to have people that got a problem with me making this video and bringing up what happened to this brother or this former brother. But it's got to be brought out, you know. Now, he was marked a long time ago, and it was said unto him that the Most High was going to destroy him, you know, that the Most High was going to do something to him. Now, it may be that the Most High show mercy unto his family, you know. I, I, you know, hey, I'm not the Most High, I don't know. So, to this sister right here, you know, may the Most High show favor to you and the kids, you know, I don't really know what's going to happen, but you just got to try to keep pushing forward and do the right thing. Now, you other guys that fell out of the truth over the years, you being a bunch of damn demons coming against the elders and against the truth, you know. And the Most High going to see every one of you guys. Not one of you are going to get away. Now, I beseech you, brethren, mark them <clears throat> which cause divisions and, con and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them. You don't have no dealings with guys, man. Let's go to 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy 5 and 20. Them that sin rebuke before all. That others also may fear. And this and the second part of the scripture is what we focusing on. That others also may fear. You guys as you know, if hey, if if uh the spirit get on the apostles or the brothers in your camp to rebuke you, you gotta take that rebuke and just go ahead and, and deal with it. You know? And I'm making it like I said, a part of me making this video is so that others may fear. You guys that fell out over the years, you guys that had a lot of negative shit to say about the elders. You better get yourselves right, man. You know, you better correct yourselves. You know, turn turn around and, and, and apologize and repent. You know, I say this one thing in particular to the brother I tell you. You know, I don't understand, you know, exactly everything that happened. You know, but I know that the way you going about things, you're in you're in the wrong. You ain't right, you know. And you let them certain people get in your ear and they talking into your ear. You need to ignore them guys. You know who I'm talking about. You need to ignore them guys. And, and, and apologize to the brothers down there in Charlotte You know the brothers in the Carolinas Make peace with them brothers You know you ain't got to kiss nobody ass Just make peace You know Apologize for what you did wrong And then just keep it moving You know Because at some point The Most High is going All these guys that fell out man The Most High is going is going to deal with them You know Now this here is um in, in uh, reference to 
when guys fall out of the truth and you stop doing the work you got to be on fire like elder Taha always say revelation 315 i know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot i would that thou wert cold or hot so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot i will spew thee out of my mouth right and you got to be on fire for this truth you got in the in uh elder tahar last year he deemed that year year of the push this year is deemed year of uh death destruction and diligence and you already see that destruction taking taking shape you know like this this guy wife brought out that what he got hit by 18 wheeler in a car and he laid up in the hospital man ribs back broke ribs broke internal in, uh, internal injuries to his organs from those shattered bones in his ribs you know he got kidney problems you know it's been complete hell and now he got a long way you know and then hey and if who knows Tazma if you watching this video maybe the most high might you know let you repent maybe that's the reason why he didn't kill you you know I don't know it ain't, it ain't for me to say okay now let's go here second Corinthians 5 and 11 let me see here yeah, we'll start at verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of the anointed, that everyone may receive the things done in his body, according that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Right, and as in this video, you guys, Mac 10, Amashaba Allah, uh, this guy, uh, uh, who we call, I call Sylvester the Cat. What was this guy name? Uh, Xavier, you know. Them guys from the, the Chicago camp, the three guys that fell out from L.A., man, the most high will get every one of you guys, man, if y'all don't repent, you know? And other fallouts, almost every major camp, almost every camp in the United States and also abroad over in London, you got them reprobates that fell out from the London brothers over there, they saying negative things. And that's the new thing, guys get butt hurt, and they got a problem with the former camp they used to teach with, and then they want to just basically make like them guys was wicked for them getting kicked out. No, everything is spiritual. You know, everything is spiritual. When you get departed or when you depart the camp and you get separated from for whatever reason, it's the spirit of the Lord that allowed that to happen for his own purpose, whatever it is. And knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the most high, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. So knowing what the most high do to guys, it's our duty to warn you, which them guys they already know the truth. And it's certain judgment coming upon you, just like happened to the Seattle Snake. Just like now happened to Tazama, right? You know, and it's gonna happen to wicked ass Sarge and the rest of them guys in the Truth or Die camp, Lenny Kravitz, all them guys, man. Most high ain't fucking around, you know. Especially in the, in the main sin you can commit, it's not that you you go against just mainly that you go against brothers, you go against the brotherhood, you you know you buck up against the elders. You com you compound the error when you take your hand off the plow and you stop teaching, which that could go for who, Mike the Hamite, Azar. You know, it's fallouts from every camp and guys talking shit and, 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 and bucking up. You know, you just continue to compound the error. And the Most High is not going to look upon you in a favorable light for doing such things. Luke 9, verse 50, verse 60. Yahweh shall said unto him, Let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of the Most High. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let them let me first go bid them farewell which are, are home, which are at home at my house. And Yahweh shall said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the most high. The plow is when you're doing the work. When you put your hand on the plow, that's when your journey in the truth starts. You are in the truth then when you go out and you do the work. When you take your hand off the plow, which means you stop teaching and you look back into the world, you go backwards. You know, when it happened with that other guy, what's this guy named? Snoop, he did it. You know, it's other guys, you know, on, on other pages. It's other guys, this guy from Rochester. You know, guys fall out of the truth and then they go back. Yeah, there he is, Snoop. Daniela, these different guys, man, that fall out of the truth and you take your hand off the plow or you get kicked out and you quit teaching, the Most High is going to judge you. Yahweh shall say unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. And that's a basic scripture. We always bring that out. And basically, when you do that, you're saying to the Most High, you don't want him ruling over you. You don't want the Savior ruling over you. You know? Luke 19, verse 26. For I say unto you that unto every one which hath shall be given, and from him that hath not, even he that hath shall be taken away from him. Here's the point. But those mine enemies, which not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Right. The Savior is not going to look upon you in a favorable light. 
He has it ordained that you will get slain. He is going to destroy you. You're going to get spewed out of the Most High's mouth if you don't do the work. Especially those of you that know the truth and you don't heed it. You don't, um, you know, matter of fact. You former teachers and you former preachers, you come against the truth now or you, you just leave it alone and just stop teaching. Hey, it doesn't end with you getting kicked out. You got to keep teaching the word. This is uh, Luke 12, 46. The Lord of that servant will come in the day when he looketh not for him. And at an hour when he is not aware and will cut him in sunder and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much of him, they will ask the more. Right. And guys like Amashaba Olive, the former head of the Dallas camp, you in a lot of trouble. You in a lot of trouble. The Most High is not going to look upon you in a favorable light because you took your hand off the plow. Guys like Mac 10 who claim to have all this knowledge, this understanding. Guys like the Avenger. You know, I ain't trying to mention guys that start up no war. I'm just basically saying, you know, the Most High is going to judge guys, man, for not doing doing the work, you know, for going back into the world. As a matter of fact, and the Most High put the Spirit on us, and we, and we rebuke people, right? The Most High put the Spirit on us, and we rebuke people, and what do they do? They buck up more and more, and that's happening over on my other channel. You other Israelites, the, you new, you newcomers, you new people to the truth, you can learn from this. And you've been being warned. And people are just bucking up more and more. Because here, I had this other series. Hebrew Israelites lost their damn minds again. That's volume two. But in volume one, uh, Hebrew Israelites have lost their damn minds. I'm basically getting on the whole house of Israel. And you got to heed the warnings of the Most High. Because the Most High warns you through his servants to prophets. And you people just going to keep bucking up. And you're going to get judged. That's why videos like these have to be brought out. But to you that used to do the work, you got a greater amount of judgment uh, waiting over you <clears throat> This is Ezekiel 3 verse 20 Again When a righteous man doth turn from his righteous, righteousness And commit iniquity And I lay a stumbling block before him He shall die Because thou hast not given him warning He shall die in his sin And in his righteousness which he, hath, which he hath done Shall not be remembered But his blood will I require at thine hand So we have to warn the guys That was formerly teaching the truth Right We got to warn them guys The same way you know, nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not and he doth not sin, he shall surely live, he shall surely live, because he is warned also thou hast delivered thy soul. So in doing this lesson also, I'm trying to deliver my own soul. Because you guys that was former teachers, the most high is going is gonna gonna judge you. And you know, and the best thing to do is if you know that you know you messed up, hey, just repent. Start back teaching the truth the right way. The best thing would be like I'm going to mention Atazwamia again, you know, I'm going to mention Atazwamia, I'm going to say this to you, brother, that the best thing for you to do, like I said, you should apologize to them brothers down there. Even if you feel like you got done wrong, that ain't for you to worry about. You should just apologize for the wrong that you did. That ain't kissing ass. Just apologize for the wrong you did. And then don't say nothing else about nobody. Don't say nothing about nobody else. Because you making videos about Kazakh, you talking about different brothers that's teaching that ain't really even for you to worry about. You, and you know for a fact that Kazakh and the war, that they're not proud. You know? But for some reason, you you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, This video ain't about that. I just want to say to you, brother, I know you will. I know that deep down you're not a wicked man. But some type of way, you got off track. And you need to repent. You need to repent. You need to make peace with the brothers down there. Ezekiel 33. And verse gonna just jump in here I don't want to make this lesson long let's see uh, well the main scripture I want to bring out was the last one you know when a righteous man turned from from his righteousness and he committed iniquity let's go here uh, yeah Ezekiel 33 verse 13 when I shall say to the righteous that he shall surely live if he trust in his own righteousness and committeth iniquity, all his righteousness shall not be remembered. You can't lean on what you did in the past. The Most High is like, what have you done for me lately? You got to keep teaching the truth. This is forever. 
You come into the truth. You the only way you get out of the truth is you die out. You when you leave and you stop teaching, hey, the Most High put more greater condemnation upon you. He put greater, or should I say, greater judgment is resting over your head. You can't trust in your own righteousness because our righteousness is as filthy rags. And some might say, well, just because I left GMS or if I stop teaching, how did that commit iniquity? Because you're you're um taking the talent and you land it up in a napkin, which really is just rebellion. Because what did Yahweh I tell you to do? He tell you to, to um what's it called? Uh, uh, he told you to go out and and, and seek uh, that which is lost. You know, I'm paraphrasing. He said, go and uh occupy till I come. That's it. He said, occupy till he come. And what's the occupation? Teaching the word. You are bought with the price. When I shall say to the righteous, a brother in the truth, that he shall surely live if he trusted his own righteousness and commit iniquity. And also if you just go back in the world and start committing sins and commit iniquity, all his righteous, righteousness shall not be remembered. But for his iniquity that he had committed, he shall die for it. And the Most High said in um, Ezekiel 3, he's going to lay a stumbling block before you. He's going to cause something to happen to you. Where you get taken And sometimes brothers going to die Sometimes you're going to be laid up Like Tazma is now Going through all types of hell And I'm sure he's thinking about That wickedness that he did You know This is Ecclesiastes 26 We're going to go to verse uh, Verse 28 <clears throat> There be two things that grieve my heart And the third makes me angry A man of war that suffered poverty And men of understanding That are not set by and one that returneth from righteousness to sin. He went back in the world. The Lord prepares such an one for the sword. So if you was once in the truth and you fell out or you went back into the world, you know, and it's and it's women that do it too. Women leave their husbands and go back into the world. The truth is too harsh for you. You can't take it. You know? Particularly, I had it happen to me. My wife was seven years. She wound up waxing rebellious, leaving the truth, you know, leaving me, going back into the world. You know, which recently popped back up and called me on the phone, you know. And I'm I don't have anything to say. The most I got you prepared for the sword. Ain't no coming back, you know. Now in her say in, in her case. Now as far as for a brother, I'm not the most high. I don't know. But once a woman leave her husband and go into the world and start being with other men, you 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 finished. That's it. You're done. You're done. Now brother in the truth, hey, the most high may accept you back, you know. The most high might accept you back. Or, or he might just, you know, cause you to get chastised. You might, you know, something might happen to you and then he lets you repent. I don't know. But here, it don't look good. And one that returneth from righteousness to sin, the Lord prepares such a one for the sword. You prepare for the sword. You know, now if you repent, hey, if you're of the elect, you're of the elect. And, he, and, I, and I go further than that. I say, even if it's a woman, if you're of the elect, you're of the elect. Because the most high forgave adultery in the case of King David. So it, it, could, it could happen. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to play that game, you know. That's, that's dangerous. This is Jude 1 verse 3. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. For there are certain men crept in unawares who are before of old ordained to this condemnation. This is their lot. You know, it was their lot to be condemned ungodly men turning the grace of our of our power into lasciviousness and denying the only lord power and our lord Yahweh shot you know and you got guys you know that that fit this you know names that come to mind like i said this guy mac 10 you know some of those guys are dealing with the avengers this guy yashar whoever it is but if but i could be wrong i could be wrong what's so hard about when you guys get rebuked or you fall out you know that you can't just be quiet and just do the work you got to come against the truth. You, it's your whole goal in life is to 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 make sure that the elders and the brothers have a, are looked at in a negative light. That you you think you can stop the truth some kind of way. Well, the truth don't belong to us. It belongs to the Most High. So really, who are you fighting against? You're fighting against the Most High. And Tazama found out the hard way. Seattle Snake found out the hard way. And other guys are gonna follow are gonna follow in that trend. Second Peter two verse 17 these are wells without water clouds they are carried with a tempest to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever <coughs> excuse me when they speak great swelling words of vanity they are lured through the lust of the flesh through much wantonness undisciplined 
those that were clean escaped from from them who live in error while they promised them liberty they themselves are the servants of corruption what did them guys in houston been saying they feel like they are in a yashar they feel like they was liberated after leaving the elders they you know but hey it's it's whatever you know it's whatever the most high know everything that happened and he know every single person and all your works all your works are known so the truth gonna come out eventually while they promised them liberty they themselves are the servants of corruption you guys are corrupt for of whom a man is overcome of the same as he brought in bondage for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of our lord and savior Yahweh Shai, they are again entangled therein and overcome the latter end is worse with them than the beginning yeah and, and like with Tazama, his latter end is worse off than he was ever even knowing the truth because he came into the truth he fell out of the truth then he went back into the world now he got judgment waiting over him and he laid up in the hospital bed you know all types of injuries the most high ain't no joke you know i can forgive you know i i i've I been let that go a long time ago but the most high didn't forget that's the thing for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after that they, they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them but it has happened unto them according to the true proverb the dog has turned to his own vomit again and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire yeah they went back in the world and they went back into that vomit just like them guys from the truth of that camp that nigga sarge all them guys lenny kravitz that used to teach with them you know them guys went back into the world gabar brother gabar from uh down in, in in charlotte all you guys man you guys better repent the most high is not playing around and it would have been better off for them guys to have never have known the truth and every member of that truth of die camp every member of that camp that tazama and, and, and uh so-called ayash which his name that was his hebrew name which we called him sarge every one of them guys fell out and they back in the world and what did the most high do the most high allowed me to keep teaching and new brothers came into the truth because of it you know and that's how the most high worked so let's go on finally here we'll read this and that's it that's gonna do it you know all right so this is uh hebrews 10 verse 26 for if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth there remains no more sacrifice for sins but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries right you lead the truth it's over for you it is over for you if you lead the truth the most i ain't playing around let's read uh yeah now uh, verse 28 he that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses of how much more sore punishment suppose ye shall he be thought worthy who had trodden underfoot the son of the most high and hath counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing and hath done despite unto the spirit of grace now I say this regarding the, the guys in Houston them three guys in Houston at least they still teach it you know I mean, I, I see the, the titles in their videos, and it seems like they're always saying something about the elders. They're always, you know, making little little side shots to different brothers and the elders. But at least them guys still teaching. They didn't take the hand off the plow, but they're proud of shit, you know. And if you, like I said, if you come against the who the most high set up, then you coming against the most high. You guys need to correct yourselves. You need to repent. For we know him that has said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, said the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Right. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Most High. And more guys going to get judged, man. All them guys we've been naming, you know, all them guys that was once uh, former either high-ranking members or low-ranking, it does not make a difference. If you was in the truth teaching at one point and you went back into the world, you have hell to pay. The Most High is not playing around. And you heard that sister say it. She said it. You know that these prophecies that the elders and the apostles and the brothers push they are no joke and it's gonna come to pass you know you know and it, and it may be too late for Tazma I don't know but for you other brothers out there that ain't been judged that ain't nothing happened to you yet hey you need to repent and get back and do this work Lord willing you know that if, if it's that's the Lord's will you know we, we often say that when guys lead the truth they can't come back but hey we don't know at the end of the day it's of the most high it's not of us and that's going to do it for the lesson. All praise to the Most High. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Enough respect to you brothers out there teaching the truth all over the earth. Stay teaching. Don't take your hand off the plow. Or judgment could be yours. Shalom. Shalom.